Attention all fire chiefs, attention all fire chiefs. NAWAS has issued a red flag warning for thunderstorms producing abundant lightning. County, this will be in effect 11 a.m. Tuesday through 11 p.m. on Wednesday. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound them. The first sounded and there came hail and fire mixed with blood and they were thrown to the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up and a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up. Revelation. Here's the road up where the fire started. You can see uh, there's been a lot of traffic on this road. A lot of resources were thrown at this fire. We'll just go ahead and go on up there and check it out. It should be no wonder why this fire burned so hot up here. Look at the fuel load. Look how many trees there are and how close they are together. That is a tinderbox. So right here is where it started. Anytime there's a fire close by near a road, arson is uh, almost always uh, suspected. You know, someone who's deliberately started it or has uh, thrown a cigarette butt out or something. The yellow tape right there is uh, basically wildland crime scene tape. They've cordoned that off there so the investigators from the Forest Service could come and take a look at it, see if they could find any um, possible ignition sources or, or whatever it was. Burned hot up the hill there. We'll go up on top and see where it really got cooking. Here's one of the fire dozers we used um, on this fire. That's a big old dresser. That's bigger than the one I used to have. Set up for fire with Pulaski in the back and dual fire extinguishers. That right there saved the day, I'll tell you that. So here we are. The ignition point was down the hill there and burned up the hill. Hot. You can see nothing left on the ground of a forest floor that was once really lush, lots of green. Now just a desert moonscape. You can see that the flames were high. The trunks burnt and the, the pine needles burned up there 75 feet or so. These dug firs are very resistant to fire. Here's a big one right here. This one's about um, five and a half to six feet across. You can see their bark is thick. And even though this tree was scorched, and its bark burnt in pretty deep here, there's a chance that it could survive. A real good chance. They're, they're extremely resilient. You can see that the sawyers have been in here and they'll fall all of the, what they call killer trees right here. This would have been a, a snag that was burning and they'll label them. This is pretty much the universal tape there. Killer tree. So several snags around here there's a couple more that they haven't taken down yet. Uh, all of this timber they put down uh, because it's dangerous. It could fall on someone. The rest of these trees most likely will survive. So up here we can see right there it starts to get green again. The dozers came in and pushed a big fire line right there and we headed it off before it got up in there. Had it got up in there into the National Forest um, it would have been on. So hard, for, hard to resist uh, bringing my chainsaw mill here and cutting this beautiful timber. Look at the straight, nice stuff. <laughs> it's just going to go to waste here, but it's not my, it's not my land. It's not my timber. So here we have the fire line where we lost uh, the fire. It got away from us. Actually, had some tenders and engines parked right here. We're trying to contain it and it uh, blew over. The trucks had to really scramble to get out of the way to keep, keep from, and that fire just make, made a strong run up that hill there, you can see where it's all burnt again. And got the hand crews and the dozers and engines up there and, and got it stopped a second time. But uh, real touch and go. Thankfully the aerials came in and lend a hand as well because we don't have hardly any water up here. 
but here you can really really see it it's very interesting isn't it boy that's a nice tree there I'd like to take that one home look at that straight as an arrow there's a whole timber frame cabin in this tree right here just this one tree what we could do with that huh guys here you can get a you can see the fire line around there where the fire was hottest in there never did get up in the crowns though they're still green those trees will be okay I think so very interesting I thought you guys might enjoy that I kind of like to come up here and look at them afterwards and just look at the topography and how we attacked it how we could have better attacked it lessons learned the right things that were done right mistakes that were made I love this job. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. So I know what you're asking yourself. What is a red flag warning? Well, a red flag warning is uh, a variety of weather conditions uh, that come together at the same time to cause extreme fire danger. Uh, it's put out by the National Forest Service and usually it's a combination of um, humidity, when, when the moisture in the air gets to a certain point, um, it could be wind, thunderstorms, those type of things, just weather con related conditions that make for extreme or very severe high potential for, or for high p probability of wildland fires. And so uh, the red flag warning that was issued uh, at the beginning of this video will start tomorrow at 11 o'clock and then run until Wednesday 11 o'clock. So we'll be on high alert for that. So a lightning storm's coming through and you know what that means. When lightning hits the ground, it can start a fire immediately or it can smolder and start up uh, as long as uh, two weeks in the future or as far as. So, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up. Thank you. And for those of you guys that are joining for the first time, I'm going to put over there, you know, some videos like this will attract people uh, that are not subscribers to the channel. You may not be familiar with it. Uh, I'll show you uh, the fire skid that I built. Kind of a do-it-yourself, build-your-own fire skid uh, for pretty cheap, relatively cheap, using a lot of used stuff that you can slide in the back of your truck and prevent or, or put out small fires on your property. So I guess that's about it. Hmm, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.